Since China was not allowed to join the International Space Station by a, uh, you know, hampered by U.S. law passed in 2011, China started to design its own spacecraft and now its uh, own space station. And in September, actually, there have there have been calls uh, of uh, some level of uh, collaboration or opening. For instance, Elon Musk called for at least some amount of cooperation between NASA and China. Mr. Gosh, what's your view? Do you think people are more open-minded about the idea now? I think on the ground level, um, when you talk to scientists and astronauts, um, there is perhaps, um, so they, they really uh, care about the cause of science. And so they would be more open. But of course, uh, everyone has to abide by what the government um, uh, position on that matter is. But here is one very important realization, other than the Wolf Amendment, which um, precludes NASA from directly collaborating with NASA, uh, with, with, with China. Both NASA and Ch China are in different stages of development of their space program. So NASA is really headed to the moon. In 2024, they want to get humans back to the moon. And um, China is starting out on their next space station. So, so I think the difference, and I guess the phased difference in the developmental stages also um, precludes a little bit of this collaboration because you kind of have to be interested in the same type of thing. Mm. So, um, so that is my thought. Right. Well, from the Chinese side, during a press briefing on Shenzhou 13, the spokesperson of China Manned Space Agency said the CMSA hopes to see cooperation with astronauts from other countries on Tiangong once it becomes fully operational. Professor Zhang, if the U.S. wants to join it, would China be open to it? Would the U.S. take this offer in the spirit it's been made? Right. So... Um so it's openly stated by the Chinese administration that uh, uh, any country is welcome to join if they, uh, they follow the same procedures. Uh, for example, the, uh, the, the Chinese space station will be operated like a key state laboratory, so it's a scientific establishment. And the collaboration will, will follow the usual scientific norms. So by that, I mean people, different countries can submit their proposals to the UN Office of Outer Affairs, Outer Space Affairs. And then once their proposal is selected, you know, the, they got free trip up and down, they got, uh, they got free hosting, and then, and then they share the, uh, the, the scientific output with the host, and, and then everything is just a scientific norm. And US, actually did uh, submit proposals and it was given the due consideration just like everybody else. Um, as for whether the U.S. will follow the, the, the spirit of this, uh, this, we'll this take collaboration, this uh, that really yeah, whether they will take depends this on whether the, yeah. the, the project is driven by scientists or by... Yeah. So, so the scientists will definitely take this offer because it's free and uh, after the International Space Station retires, it's pretty much the only space station up there. Um, at least, at least, for, at least for, 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 for purely uh, sort of a research purpose. If, if, if there's like a, a commercial station up there, then uh, they will definitely charge you a, a lot of money. Mm. Um, so, so they would want to, certainly the, the scientists would want to take that opportunity. Right. Uh, but the, the problem is whether they will be hamstrung by their politicians. Finally, Mr. Gosh, your specialty is Mars, and China's space program also includes its Mars rover Zhurong, which uh, finished a 90-day expedition on the red planet in August, sending back images and data in China. Also has future plans to bring back samples from Mars. Can international and Chinese scientists work together on Mars exploration? Well. You know, part of it, they're already doing that. I, I don't know about China, but um, NASA puts all its data out there on the internet for anybody to use, uh, for anybody to study. Um, I'm assuming the Chinese have also some sort of a data collaboration program. Um, so in a sense, they're already doing that. Whether uh, China will have a US instrument on a, on a next mission and vice versa, um, that, of course, depends on geopolitics, the Wolf Amendment and everything else. So that's very hard to predict. But I think, um, uh, as, um, as I said before, the scientists are always interested in more um, studies and more scientific hypothesis and more data sharing.